Could this be the best modular building, even though it's not officially part of the modular sets? I've overlooked this set for quite some time, but with its retirement approaching, I decided to give it a chance. To my surprise, I was blown away by how impressive this set is, not just for its clever building techniques, but also for its overall appearance. If you want to grab a copy before it's too late, I've included affiliate links for your convenience. Your support is incredibly helpful to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that button and don't forget to like and comment. I'd love to see some discussion about this set. Just a quick disclaimer. I'm not a Marvel fan, so if I missed anything or referenced something incorrectly, please forgive me and feel free to correct me in the comments. Now, let's take a closer look at the Sanctum Sanctorum. Let's start with the minifigures. First up is Doctor Strange, or Stephen Strange himself, featuring his classic red cape, a custom printed hairpiece, and a double-sided face. Then, we have Ebony Moore from Infinity War, complete with dual head printing. Next is Iron Man, sporting the newly molded helmet, a fantastic addition to the figure. Moving on, there's Tom Holland's Spider-Man from Infinity War, which comes with stunning arm printing. Following Spider-Man is Wong, the Sorcerer Supreme, who looks fantastic. Next, we have the Scarlet Witch. Though she only has torso printing with no arm or leg details, her hairpiece includes a printed crown and she has a double-sided face. We also get Sinister Strange, who has a unique tan skin tone and a double-sided head print, and Master Mordo, dressed in a sand green outfit with a matching cape and double-sided torso printing for added detail. Finally, there's Dead Strange from Multiverse of Madness. Now, let's take a closer look at the physical build of the Sanctum Sanctorum. Built to LEGO's modular scale, it integrates seamlessly with other modular buildings. From the exterior, you'll notice a classic black lamppost and a tiled street with plenty of studs, allowing for easy placement of minifigures to create lively street scenes. The studs aren't limited to the pavement. You'll find numerous options on the building's facade and even in the alleyway. The set also includes two transparent bars with integrated plates, perfect for posing characters in dynamic action stances or making superheroes look like they're flying. This set has the most stud placement options I've seen in a Lego set. At street level, you'll also find a few trees in front of the building, along with a couple of hidden Easter eggs like a newspaper and a letter addressed to 177A Bleecker Street. Just outside the Sanctum, there's a yellow dumpster featuring a sticker for Shady Acres Care Home, adding a nice extra touch to the lively street scene. Now, let's turn our attention to the building itself. I'm really impressed with how this structure is designed like other modular buildings. The roof and all three floors can be removed independently. Certain section of ground level can also be detached, giving you easy access to specific areas. But LEGO didn't stop there. They took modularity to a new level with this set, adding three interchangeable wall panels on the sides and back. You can swap these panels in and out to change the building's look, whether you want to display a billboard on the top floor or not, reveal or hide a monster for a sleeker look, or even position the monster on the ground floor, this set offers plenty of flexibility. This added layer of customization is a fantastic feature I haven't seen in any other modular building, and it's a shame it hasn't been applied to more LEGO sets since. Now, let's dive into the individual floors. Starting with the ground floor, you'll find a few paintings and the iconic grand staircase that defines the sanctum. There are also additional pieces of artwork, a globe cleverly made from a minifigure head and openable front doors, though, unfortunately, these use stickers rather than printed tiles. In one corner, there's Doctor Strange's nook, complete with his frame degree, stickered, and a photo of Wong and Doctor Strange bundled up against the cold. Lifting the staircase reveals two hidden rooms. The first room is a small kitchen, featuring a shelf with some crystals, a fridge and a freezer with an ice block and a few groceries inside. The keep out door on the side of the building lets you access this room without removing the staircase piece. 
I also noticed that when you remove the fridge, there's a hidden compartment under the staircase containing a secret stone. In the second hidden room, you'll find the time stone, along with what appears to be the dark hold secured behind a chain. This room includes a few paintings on either side, adding to the mystical feel. The removable staircase section showcases Doctor Strange's broken hand and a little pizza slice, while on the other side there's a label reading Wong's stuff and even a travel guide. Moving up to the first floor, you'll notice even more artwork on the walls, with the floor layout offering a spacious, double or even triple height area that feels grand and open. There are decorative details in the corners and a cosy reading nook, perfect for adding to the room's ambience. The main wall features a unique bookcase with a magical twist, a door that leads into the multiverse. You can switch the scene behind it to show either a desert or mountain landscape by simply sliding your chosen destination from the outside. This enchanting detail brings an extra layer of charm and excitement to the set. On the second floor, you'll discover a range of intricate details, including paintings, swords, a lamp, wall art, and various hidden elements scattered throughout. Even a small chest holds a scroll, adding to the magical and mysterious vibe of the Sanctum Sanctorum. The iconic window piece here is thankfully a printed element. The building's exterior design features impressive techniques, giving it a sleek, polished look. The rooftop, while fairly minimal, includes some plants, two chimneys, not connected to internal ones, which is classic Lego style, and a few other small details like ventilation ducts. This incredible set is priced at 250 US dollars, or 250 euros, or 215 British pounds. It includes 2,708 pieces and nine minifigures, as mentioned earlier. If you're looking to build it as part of a friend's activity, the set comes with three instruction manuals, making it perfect for a cosy evening gathering. However, be aware that this set has 45 stickers, so be prepared for a lot of sticking. In conclusion, I believe the Sanctum Sanctorum is one of the best LEGO Marvel sets available, and I think it's a far better purchase than the upcoming X-Mansion release. Not only is the Sanctum Sanctorum an incredible modular set that integrates seamlessly with other LEGO modular buildings, like the Daily Bugle and Avengers Tower, but I genuinely consider it one of the best options among this year's retiring sets. Don't miss the chance to pick this up. You might regret it later. For your convenience, I've included affiliate links. Thank you for watching all the way through. I'd love to hear your thoughts, so please share them in the comments. Thanks again, and until next time, happy building.